Hey, welcome to another episode of Music Tips and Reviews with JG. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, a lot of news, a lot of news. You know, it's always about Beyonce. You know, somebody coming for Beyonce. <laughs> and this time, it's, it's Erica Badu. She got an issue with uh, Beyonce. And you know, the Beehive is after <laughs> Erica Badu for talking about that queen. And so... We're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Uh, we're going to get into this article. Uh, first off, you know, let's check out this. Uh, let's check out these pictures because uh, this is what Erica Badu has an issue with. Uh, you know, the hairstyle, the similar hairstyle. And, you know, people don't realize that this hairstyle comes from Africa. Africa. Uh, this was a... Uh, you know a type of hairstyle that they had a, a culture a culture hairstyle uh that they have in africa as well so it did originate from uh erica badu i know several artists that had this uh serena and venus you know they had the similar hairstyle scissor had the hairstyle on um good days if y'all seen that video uh with hit different uh a lot of people and then uh you know uh, Erica Badu feel like you know B, B is kind of you know watching her watching her her style and, and stuff like that but people don't realize a lot of greats you know a lot of great um, artists they do emulate different artists you know to be the best you know if you think about MJ think about Michael Jackson uh, he took from here he took from there to create his own style and he made the style his own and so you know people coming for beyonce erica erica badu came for beyonce yesterday everybody's talking about this and uh we're gonna read uh, entertainment it says erica badu feels the, sh the stings of the beehive <laughs> uh after some ig shade uh and asked jay-z to intervene so Beyonce, uh, excuse me, Erica Badu called out Beyonce for seemingly uh, stealing her style once again. And well, the internet did what it does. Uh, the article says Erica Badu took aim with her mama's gun at the wrong diva best believer. And now she's asking for help from Queen Bee's husband to protect her from the stings of the hive. Uh, Erica Badu and Neo Soul songstress, songstress uh, analog girl in the digital world, fashion icon, can basically say that, say and do whatever she wants at this point. Uh, doesn't mean she should, but she can. And then one of her wild romps uh, through the internet, she happened uh, to come upon a post. Uh, for Beyonce's uh, vinyl cover for her upcoming album, Act Two, Cowboy Cotter. So, you know, if you haven't heard uh, Beyonce coming out uh, with her new album at the end of this month, March, uh, Act Two, uh, uh, Cowboy Cotter, uh, she coming out with that. Uh, and so, it's it's a lot going on with this. Uh, <laughs> this the article, the thing that Erica Badu came up with uh to talk to jay <laughs> to jay uh say something jay you gonna let this woman and these bees do this to me uh and so she messed with uh beyonce and uh you know a lot of people don't realize why beyonce is doing this album you know she's doing this album because she had an incident where she performed at the cmas and a lot of uh the caucasian audience didn't like that she was performing because of her color uh, and there's a lot of racism going on it, with the, the merge of African Americans really getting into the, the country music culture. And so it's an issue uh, with a lot of, you know, there's a lot of racism going on as far as that. And uh, it's crazy <laughs> uh, what's going on between Erica Badu and Beyonce. You know, Erica Badu is a legend as well. Uh, she she set a lot of trends, you know. When she first came out, it was more of a, a nature type vibe to her with the head wraps, the hair wraps, 
And so um, let me let me know what y'all thought about this <laughs> this situation. Uh, and I can continue on with this uh, this article. Uh, this is it isn't the first time Badu has come, you know, for Beyonce, and what uh, Badu assumes was uh, B's appropriation of her style. Last summer, Badu accused B of jacking her big shiny hat game. Uh, that's the picture I kind of showed, but it was a different one. But uh, you know, <laughs> she accusing Beyonce of stealing her her hat hat style and stuff like that uh what, what do y'all feel about this do you feel like and, and uh, you know i'm talking directly to the beehive as well uh do you think it's a jealousy thing or you think it's it's just uh you know it's badu right for coming for beyonce about stealing her style uh because a lot of artists you know blue can trail um amory so many artists has come for Beyonce because they felt uh, Janet Jackson, you know, they said Janet Jackson and Beyonce had a little thing going on. Do you, do you feel all these artists are jealous or envious of Beyonce's success or is they uh, legitimate on their, you know, their feud with Beyonce? Uh, let me know. Let me know what y'all think. And, uh, you know, leave your comments. Uh, what you think about this situation uh, between uh, and I hate that this stuff happened I wish they can just collab <laughs> I wish they can just collab you know these artists just collab with each other instead of going back and forth uh, with each other about these situations and uh, I'm curious to see how this uh, curious to see how this album gonna be uh, act 2 you know of course she came out with uh, Renaissance for Act One with that house and the pop sound to it, and uh, really appealed to the LGBTQ community. I feel the first album, and now she's going into this. Um, and a lot of people don't realize uh, country music. A lot of country music was sound. The sound of it, you know, a lot of African Americans pioneered the, that sound, and so <laughs> Caucasians, I guess, feel like it's their sound now. Uh, not to get into a lot of racism, uh, you know, political uh, jargon on this uh, on this video, but it, it's a, it's a huge issue, you know. And, and African American country artists are not feel is not feel feeling welcome um, in that space, you know. Uh, I've written a few country songs uh, in my past, um, and you know, and I and I heard. Uh, even T Pain, he said he wrote for a lot of country artists. You know, Ghost Ghost written for a lot of them, but he didn't feel comfortable uh, putting his name on the song as far as credits is concerned. And it's a, it's a huge issue. But uh, leave your comments what you think about this issue between Erica Badu and Beyonce. I uh, appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, like I always say, tell your mother, your father, your sister, brother, your cousin. Anybody you know that's into music, into music news, reviews, and tips, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we at 3K now on the road to 4K. So appreciate y'all for tuning in. Until next time. All right. Peace.